separate stock updation date in dual voucher. This presentation will give an overview on implementing separate stock updation date in dual vouchers feature in Busy. With this feature, you can maintain separate stock updation date, that is, a date different from the voucher date. Basically, you can enter a voucher date, that is, the date on which the bill has been entered, and a stock updation date, that is, the date on which the stock is in or stock is out from the material center. This option is useful in case like in sales voucher if you have entered a bill on 10th April but the actual delivery of goods has taken place on 12th April then you can maintain two different dates that is one is the bill date and the other is the stock updation date. Once you enable this feature in Busy, then all the stock related reports will be generated on stock updation date rather than voucher date. To enable this feature click administration configuration features options inventory tab in the tab enable the option of separate stock updation date in dual vouchers click save button to save this configuration now we will enter a purchase voucher in the purchase voucher here you can see we have entered the date is 10th april on entering the date and pressing enter key on the date field a stock updation date window appears in this window you need to specify the date on which the actual delivery of the goods will take place that is the date on which actually the goods will be received at the material center here we are entering the date is 12th april that means although the vouchers is entered on 10th of april but the goods are received at the main store material center on 12th of april enter header details of the voucher select the item which you are purchasing here you can see we have purchased 1000 pieces of float tiles from somani tiles on 10th of april but the goods actually will be received on 12th april now we will have a look at the reports first of all we'll go to display account books daybook we are generating report from 1st april to 10th april here on the screen you can see the busy is showing that the purchase voucher is entered on 10th of april Next, we will view inventory book daybook that is inventory daybook from 1st April to 12th of April. Here on the screen, you can see that busy is showing that the goods have been purchased or we can say the stock is in on 12th of April. Now, we will view the stock status, closing stock report. We are generating report on 10th of April. Here you can see the stock of flow tiles is being shown as 9500 pieces. But if we generate the same report on 12th of April, then it is showing the stock is 10,500. That is the purchase of 1,000 pieces of floor tiles has been added in the stock only on 12th of April. That is stock updation date and not the voucher date. So it is clear from the inventory day book, account day book and the stock status report that once you enable the feature of separate stock updation date in dual vouchers, then all the stock related reports will work on stock updation date. That is, stock will be considered on stock updation date and not on voucher date. Hope after going through this presentation, you will be able to use and implement separate stock updation date in dual vouchers in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.